Hi, this is David from Minute Earth. Occasionally, a piece of poop that's especially hard, called a fecalith, will break off from the larger poop mass, go floating around in a person's intestinal tract, and then get stuck in the narrow channel that connects the large intestine to a sac called the appendix. This blockage is the main cause of the disease known as appendicitis. It makes the organ swell like a balloon with a toxic combination of mucus and bacteria, and it needs to be quickly treated before the sac bursts. Strangely though, people are much more likely to get appendicitis in certain places than others, and that likely has something to do with how these rogue poop pebbles get formed in the first place. The rate of appendicitis rose dramatically in the US and other wealthy countries during the 20th century. We think that that's because an increase in wealth meant that people in those countries started eating less fiber and more processed foods and sugars, which may have caused people in those places to have weirder poops and thus more frequent fecaliths. That diet hypothesis was supported further when doctors noticed that appendicitis was much more common in the summer. It turns out that we eat a lot more sugar when it's warm outside, which seems to cause even more stool rocks. And in countries like South Korea, Iran, and Chile that are just getting wealthier, today we're seeing increases in appendicitis rates that look a lot like those that happened in the US earlier in the 20th century. Diets in those countries have also gotten rid of a lot of fiber and added a lot of processed food. But this relationship between a weirder diet and appendicitis no longer seems to apply to the United States. In the last 40 years, even as people have gotten even richer and continue to eat all sorts of junk, the rate of appendicitis has actually dropped almost 60%, and we're not exactly sure why. Perhaps after a few decades, their intestines have simply adjusted to the new diets and have stopped freaking out as much. Or maybe it's more complicated than that. For now, it's still a large and kinda stinky question mark. This video was sponsored by Tab for a Cause, the free browser extension that donates a fraction of a penny to charity every time you open up a new tab. I've personally opened up more than 5,000 tabs since I downloaded Tab for a Cause last year, and I've donated most of the hearts I've earned to the Foundation to Decrease World Suck, one of eight awesome charities that Tab for a Cause supports. If you aren't tabbing for a cause yet, click the link in the description to download the extension and get started today.